Hey, what's up guys, Winston here, and today we'll be taking a quick look at the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 4070 Ti Gaming OC graphics card. As the name suggests, the graphics card uses Nvidia's GeForce RTX 4070 Ti GPU, featuring ADA Lovelace architecture. It supports all of the latest technologies from NVIDIA, such as DLSS3, the third gen ray tracing, and NVIDIA's Reflex technology. It's powered by an overclocked GPU that operates on a core clock frequency of 2640 MHz. The default is 2610 MHz. It features a total of 7680 CUDA cores and comes with 12GB of GDDR6X RAM on a 192 bit memory bus running at 21 gigabits per second. For cooling, the card uses Gigabyte's Windforce cooling system featuring seven copper heat pipes, a vapor chamber, and three 100mm fans that spin alternately. The card comes with a solid metal backplate, which I really like, and it gives it structural stability and protection. You also find included is an anti-stag bracket, which provides better reinforcement and prevents the ugly looking sag due to the weight of the graphics card. The Gigabyte GeForce RTX 4070 Ti is a full-length graphics card and uses up to 2.5 PCI slot space, so make sure you have enough room inside your PC. You'll also find on this card the new 16-pin power connector and a BIOS OC silent switch. This allows users to get the best performance or enjoy silent operation. According to NVIDIA, the GeForce RTX 4070 Ti uses up to 285 watts of power at full load, so we recommend a minimum power supply of 850 watts or higher. The video outputs include three DisplayPort 1.4 and one HDMI 2.1, which is more than enough for most gamers. And lastly, the graphics card supports Gigabyte's RGB Fusion with three ring LEDs inside the cooling fans, which can be controlled using Gigabyte's control center. We'll be testing this graphics card against the GeForce RTX 3090, which I've been using for quite a while, and of course the uh, Radeon RX 7900 XTX. So let's put this into our test rig and see how it performs. But before we do that, let's do a quick unboxing and uh, we'll see you in a bit. <laughs> All right, let's do a quick unboxing of the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 4070 Ti. Comes with 12 gigabytes of GDDR6X RAM and uh, features the Windforce cooling solution and also an overclocked GPU. Also comes with a four year warranty and supports DLSS3, ray tracing and reflex. All right, let's take a look inside the box. Okay, we have an envelope here. Let's take a look. All right, warranty registration, installation guide, and the quick guide for the graphics card. All right, let's see what's underneath here. Okay, let's take a look at the accessories. We have this here. This is the uh, 16 pin adapter uh, goes into two uh, eight pin PCIe power connector right here so you can plug that straight to the graphics card and then these two will then plug into your PCIe power cables all right what else do we have we have all oh, right here you go these are the uh, anti-sag brackets um, basically the graphics card holder to prevent your graphics card from sagging so good pretty good and you have a, a bag of screws to go with this okay and now for the graphics card all right here we have the graphics card the geforce rtx 4070 ti this graphics card uses an overclocked gpu running at 2640 megahertz the default is uh, 2610 MHz, so it's only overclocked slightly, but it should provide enough performance. And 12 gigabytes of GDDR6X RAM on a 192-bit memory bus, giving you speeds of uh, 21 gigabits per second. The GeForce RTX 4070 Ti features a total of 7680 CUDA cores. It supports all of the latest technologies, including the DLSS3, ray tracing, and NVIDIA's Reflex. It's a full length graphics card. It's uh, weighs quite heavy as well. And you can see the uh, three fans there 
from the wind force cooling solution. Let's take a look at the top here. We have the GeForce branding there and this uh, logo, you can see it says Gigabyte. That should light up when you switch it on. And notice the 16 pin uh, power connector, the new uh, PCI-5. Uh, this is the 12 VHPWR connector there to power your graphics card. And also, if you look on the side right here, you see the BIOS OC silent switch. Uh, if you enable that, that'll give you the maximum performance for the overclocking on the uh, GPU. And also, if you switch on to silent, that'll give you silent operation. So that's pretty cool. Notice the back plate that gives you uh, extra stability as well. Right, let's take a look at the heat sink. Um, right here, you can see the seven heat pipes underneath there uh, with lots of cooling fins, massive heat sink. That'll give you all the cooling you need there. All right, let's take a look at the uh, video outputs. We have uh, one, two, three display port and one HDMI. And if you take a closer look at the, the fans, there's a, a ring LED system right there and all of the three fans. And that will give you the RGB fusion, um, which is great. And you can control that using the Gigabyte Control Center. All right, we'll be testing this graphics card using an Intel Core i9 13900K along with a Z790 motherboard. I want to see how it will compare against the GeForce RTX 3090 which we'll be using for quite a while. And of course, the Radeon RX 7900 XTX. All right, so this was a quick unboxing of the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 4070 Ti gaming OC graphics card. Overall, the GeForce RTX 4070 Ti performs below AMD's flagship Radeon RX 7900 XTX, but easily outperforms the GeForce RTX 3090 in all of our tests, and it does so using less power and produces less heat. During our tests, we use our usual test rig, which comprised of an Intel Core i9-1300K processor, an Asus Strix Z790E gaming motherboard, and 32 gigs of DDR5-6200 RAM. I got excellent scores in all of our benchmarks, including an impressive high score of 23,098 for Basemark GPU and a Geekbench GPU score of 216,601. For Unigine's Valley benchmark, we got a score of 9,630 and a Final Fantasy benchmark of 20,485. For Superposition 1080p Extreme and Optimized 4K, we got excellent scores of 13,410 and 17,438 respectively. For 3D Mark Time Spy and Fire Strike, we produced an amazing score of 22,377 and 41,515 respectively. And finally, for Speedway and Port Royal, we produced an impressive score of 5,442 and 14,187 respectively. And lastly, we got a DirectX ray tracing score of 69.31 frames per second and a Passmark 10 GPU score of 36,361. We also added the benchmark for Cyberpunk 2077 using the ray tracing overdry option with both the RTX and DLSS3 enabled. The GeForce RTX 4070 Ti killed it with a whopping 37 frames per second. It beats both the RTX 3090 and the Radeon RX 7900 XTX. Mind you, I think the benchmark is skewed more towards NVIDIA's way with its uh, ray tracing and DLSS features. All said and done, the GeForce RTX 4070 Ti Gaming OC is a fantastic graphics card that features all the latest technologies from NVIDIA, such as DLSS3 and third gen ray tracing, as well as uh, NVIDIA's Reflex. Thanks to its slightly overclocked GPU, it easily outperforms the RTX 3090 while positioning itself just behind the Radeon RX 7900 XTX nicely. 
you can check out the full review on our website at funky.com. And there you have it. That was a quick look at the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 4070 Ti Gaming OC graphics card. A fantastic graphics card that offers amazing performance and featuring all of Nvidia's latest technologies. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like and a leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy this via the links in the description. And of course, visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Oh yeah, don't forget, hit the subscribe button for more. Until next time, this is Winston for FunkyKit.com.